My wife was engaged in a six-month relationship with another man. This is a small piece of writing. My wife told me last month that she had been having an extramarital affair for the past six months. I was shocked and disappointed. I had no idea who he was at the time. He used to work as a doctor at her hospital, but he has since left the position. I had absolutely no idea what was happening on and had never suspected her of being unfaithful. We spent a lot of time together, and she looked to be as happy as she had been with me when we first met. Although we continued to go on dates whenever we could find a reliable babysitter, we were more intimate than ever before, and she would do tiny lovely things for me and I would do the same for her. My point is that I believed she was happy with me, or at the very least, content with me. I, for one, am a member of the SAR. Despite this, I still generate money, since I own a landscaping business, and my brother and I jointly own and manage a real estate firm. Staying at home was a possibility that I briefly entertained, but I no longer feel it to be correct. This, however, is not the purpose of this piece of writing. I still love and care about my wife. I'm just sad and trying to come to terms with the idea that she had been with another man for months at this point in our relationship. The fact that that happened must have been motivated by something Glenna about me. The fact that I made a huge special Valentine's Day dinner for her and our children is what prompted this discussion and got me here. I dressed the children in formal attire and invited them to go out with her on our back patio. In order to pass the time while making dinner, I pretended to be a traditional French chef. Several of the presents were made by the children, and I also bought a few items for them to give to her. Everything about the evening was wonderful, and I couldn't wait to tell my brother about it. He basically said that he thinks I'm an idiot for staying with her, and that she didn't deserve such a night out on the town with me. I tried to initiate a conversation on relationships, but it turned out to be a mistake. The bottom line is that I love my spouse. My family is the most important thing in my life. I'd want to move forward from this situation. I'd want to be able to forgive her. The second story is as follows. My 30M, GF32F, of six months has recently changed her demeanor, and I want to end the relationship. In any case, I met her early this year, and we became fast friends within a month of meeting, began dating after a month, and have been formally dating for almost six months. I met her when on a night out with several of my friends. We don't live together, but she spends a lot of time at my house since it is closer to her place of employment. Our relationship started off rather well. I had the impression that we had a natural connection, and she was also very supportive of my goals. The contrary is true. She has become more demanding as I make lifestyle changes, and she seems to be upset and dissatisfied with the results. The two most important things in my life are my work and what I dress. As for my job, I work at the same company where I've been since I was 16 years old. It's a simple job that pays my bills, and I'm familiar with the operations. I'm essentially a manager without the responsibility of actually being a manager, because I don't want that level of responsibility for no additional compensation. As a result, I don't have a financial crunch since I also make money from stocks and cryptocurrency. What kind of clothes do I like to wear? A lot of my jumpers and t-shirts are from an emo band that my friends and I used to like when we were younger. I have maybe 50 of them that I wear a lot as they make me happy while also doing no harm to anybody else. I'll admit that I have a bit of an anxiety problem. Familiarity helps me cope with it. Some members of my family believe that I have OCD despite the fact that I've never been diagnosed with it. In a recent conversation, my spouse expressed her discontent with my outfit, telling me that I needed to mature and invest in new clothes. She spends a lot of money on whatever clothes are in fashion at the time, which I don't mind since it's her money she's spending and she's not doing anything harmful to anybody. But I'm not sure what it is about my attire that bothers her. Though we had a lengthy argument, we ultimately decided to go shopping and get some new clothes for me. The clothes are incredibly gorgeous and comfortable, and I like wearing them. She was unhappy because I was wearing the same band t-shirt again a few days later, since the new clothes were still in the washing machine. In my response, I indicated that the new clothes were in the washing machine, and that it had not been decided that I would stop wearing band gear completely at that time. She refused to talk to me for the rest of the day, but the next day she seemed to have cooled down and claimed that she feels new attire would help me grow as a person as a result of this experience. We spoke about it for a long time before I made the decision to stop wearing the band uniform. I started crying while I was packing them, and she called me an idiot. 
so I pleaded with her to let me finish. She returned a few hours later, and we made amends. I placed the boxes into my truck and told her that I was donating them. She was thrilled, and she indicated that I had made the correct choice by getting rid of the items. They were not donated. Instead, I took them to work and planned to retain them there until further notice. My boss was confused but accepting of my decision to do so. When I returned home, she had already placed an order for a slew of new clothing for me. She told me that she realized how difficult it had been for me, but that I would be better off as a result of it. It was later that night, a few hours later, when she expressed an interest in discussing my position and why I am not a manager. I informed her that I would not be present. Although I've explained why I don't want to be a manager, and that doing so would result in me receiving no further compensation, she remains aloof and only talks about how I should inquire about being a manager, even though I've indicated that there is no need for it at the business. She essentially keeps reminding me that I need to fight for a raise in order to be able to treat my family to nice things more often. Because I make money in other ways and because she has her own money, I informed her that wasn't how it worked and that she shouldn't have a problem, I'm useless, she said as she walked away from me. Furthermore, my employer told me that she had phoned the business and inquired as to why I was not employed as a manager. In the midst of being sad and feeling useless for a few hours, I realized that I didn't want to be with her. As a result of her preference to spend all of our free time with just the two of us, I've realized that I don't see my friends as often as I used to. For whatever reason, I'm no longer pleased with her. In fact, I think she acted differently when we first met in order to get more intimate with me. When I first showed her the band memorabilia, she expressed interest and even declared she enjoyed everything about the band. I feel she is true in that new clothes may be able to help me a bit. I much appreciate her advice and am pleased with how I look in some of the pieces we chose together. But I really liked how I looked in the band attire, and I still don't think it was too out of place. I'd usually just wear jeans and a t-shirt or a sweater normally, so I don't think it was as ridiculous as she thought it was. People collect bizarre things, so I just thought of it as a collection of items that might be worn. Apart from that, I regret lying to her about delivering the band's gear. It made me feel terrible and dishonest, and my boss and colleagues could tell something wasn't quite right when I took the boxes into work. Because I don't want to upset anybody, I make every effort to be honest. Anyway, I want to end my relationship with her, but I know it will be difficult. She is a master at persuading me of various points of view but I have made up my mind on this. I'm still not sure when or how I'm going to do it, and I'm feeling a lot of anxiety about it. What I'm asking is if you could provide me with any advice or support. So how can I be assertive about my want to quit the relationship without allowing her to dissuade me from doing so?